Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video where today we return with round 9, I think, of the WR F7 League. Yes, we're back this week out at Abu Dhabi and it's a bit weird, of course, that we're racing at Abu Dhabi and it isn't a championship finale. Of course, yeah, we had a break week last week, hence why there was no video. Uh, and of course, if you missed out on Saudi Arabia that went live the week before that, I would highly recommend going back and checking it out. But to be honest, I haven't really done much practice uh, ready for tonight. I've been now just trying to sort out a few other bits and pieces. Um, so we've, we've just got to get on with it and see how we get on here and try and just continue scoring points. Right, well, here we are then, back in Abu Dhabi. Round 9 of the season. Only a few races to go, and of course, the championship fight not very much alive. I think MEJ, uh, he could theoretically wrap it up this weekend, but he'd need Barney uh, basically not to score. Uh, so it's more than likely it'll roll over into next weekend. This is the setup I'm running tonight. Um, but honestly, I just need to try and get a good qualifying lap in, so I'm not really going to do any commentary over it. I'm just going to try and get a clean lap. If I can be down in the 23s, I'll be happy. Um, but honestly, I'm expecting people to be close to the 22s. Well, out of the final corner, 24-5, really not the best opener in the world. But it is a benchmark that has been put down, and we have gone second uh, only slower than risks. But I said I wouldn't be surprised if people were down towards the 22s. Risks immediately there on a 23-3. Oh, <laughs> thought I'd try and go out for a second run, see if I can improve. But yeah, the tyres really do fall off if you're trying to do double runs on this game. I don't know what the wear's up to. Yeah, only 13%, but yeah, we were actually two tenths up still. Um, so definitely have a lot more time to find in the car. It's like just trying to make sure we don't overstep the mark. Of course, don't want to do what I did in Saudi a couple of weeks ago. Oh, <laughs> no! <laughs> Just invalidated as we went out of the final corner there, and that has really cost me. Um, so we're only going to get one more run in. That was only another two tenths or so, but I definitely lost a bit of time uh, throughout the lap. Like I said, it's just about trying to get the one lap nailed. Uh, Chris and Risks right towards the very front, but then, yeah, apart from them, there is quite a big drop off. We're now down into 12th, though, so I think obviously, slowly but surely, more cars are getting their laps in. Right, final attempt then, let's go for it. Jordan a little bit slower there in towards the final corner. But got the tyres up to scrub. We've just got to try and make it count. again. Oh, there we go, into the 23s. 23,997 there. I'll take that, to be honest. Uh, like I said, very, very limited practice before we got into this one, so happy uh, that we could get a semi-respectable lap hooked up. Never seen Lifebuoy before. New name, apparently, uh, to the league. Never MEJ runs up in P3 there, but Chris, 23-0. Rapid, rapid lap time from him. Let's run on board. Oh, that looked wide. From risks there as we head through the final corner. Will he still improve up to the line? I think he did, but I think he stays B2. Let's get into it though. Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, we're starting 10th place. Right, well, here we are then. Ready. On the grid. Abu Dhabi. I'm going to try and go medi uh, sorry, hards over to mediums in this one. I feel like the alternate strategy might be a good call this weekend. Haven't done a league race around the new Abu Dhabi circuit. I can't actually remember the last time I did any league race around Abu Dhabi to keep 
to be completely honest. It's far from my favourite track in the world, uh, but we'll wait and see as to how this goes there. Give yourself one extra click front wing. Uh, hopefully it will come in clutch. 29 and a half laps worth of fuel. Uh, but yeah, now we've just got to wait for the starting procedure. Right, let's do this thing then. Abu Dhabi. Ready, 29 laps ahead of us. I think, to be honest, uh, instants are probably going to be quite easy to pick up here. So I'm just going to try and keep it clean and tidy and see if we can survive lap one. One of my best qualifying sessions in recent weeks. Five red lights. Lights out, and away we go. And not going anywhere there off the stop. A couple of cars behind me starting on the mediums as we head down in towards turn one. Worry about where whoa, that McLaren was going to try and go there. It's like to get a little bit of wheel spin off the corner. Uh, it's Jordan, I should be able to trust him. That's apologies for the contact on the exit of turn one. Just nicked over the curbing. Ever so slightly there. Is Red Bull going to try and look down around the outside? Ooh, a little bit close. That was fair play to Adrian. I thought he'd steamrolled way too deep into there, but he's hooked it up. I got a nice run off the exit of the corner. Is everyone trying to use battery? On this opening lap, Speedy and Ivo just behind me there. Take it nice and easy. Oh, Jordan gets a little bit scrappy into the side of, I think that was Niels. The other... Hello? Room, please? No, apparently not. Okay. Um, the other Aston Martin, they're getting turned around as we're going to get jumped by another two cars. Then there's Ivo, yeah, clearly had no intention right, of giving me any space right. on the exit of that corner. I felt like I'd give him plenty of room on the way in as... We'll lose two places on the way in there. Game one definitely on the way out. So, yeah, it's all a bit weird and wonderful on that one. But I'm getting a little bit worried already how much time we're losing to that gaggle of cars in front of Adrian now trying to go back against Jordan. You cannot hit that outside curve. It really upsets the rear end of the car through these final couple of turns. There's a yellow flag out. Someone else might just have done that. Still getting very, very close for comfort there. Chris leads the way. At the end of lap one, looks like Amy J has got the jump on risks, though, as I think both Mercs still in fourth and fifth. But yeah, we've lost uh, three places then on that opening lap. Two of them were to cars on softer tyres as Ivo is off to the shadow rounding. That was a rather quick shadow rounding, but zip zap and he's gone. Jordan there. I think that's interesting lines out of turn one. I think there is a little bit of a bug on this game where you can manipulate it if you run wide through that first corner, then you can just send it really far wide, and of course it gives you a nice run actually through turn two. Not too sure what the rules are on it, as my main goal early on is just trying to stay within the DRS range of Adrian in front of me. That looks like he's trying to have a bit of a battle with track just in front, of course, battling for that final points paying position, as immediately then I've kind of lost the DRS range. Adrian to the inside. Hopefully this can bring me back a little bit closer. Oh, no, trap's gone round. Adrian's been caught out in it as well. I don't know whose fault that was. And now we've got to try and capitalise on the exit of the corner. So we will now suddenly go up into the top ten then of this race. But Jordan, two seconds up the road. Let Adrian get the cut back. Oh, back in, trying to get loose on me. It's so slippery around this circuit. It's like racing a spa. For those of you that watched that video a couple of months back. Incredibly low grip around that circuit as well. Um, but yeah, we're up into the top 10, but back to where we started. Oh, we got another one gone. Lifeboat with issues. Now we're into P9, so I think, yeah, really today it's just going to be about clean, smooth, sensible driving, as Adrian, I think, has picked up front wing damage, so peels into the pit lane. Jordan, new fastest lap, so we're only a tenth off. Um, it's, it's all kicking off. ivo has gone. Too sure, and I think we've got a safety car. He's done a Nicholas Satifi. I uh, don't really think it's... Yeah, it might change our strategy, actually. We may as well go double medium, then, to the end of the race. Uh, yeah, the hard tyres aren't really working all too well. Uh, but I'm intrigued to see what other cars do up the road. So here we go, then. So there's split strategies at the front of the field. Chris has peeled into the pit lane, but everyone else at the front looks to have stayed out there, then, as Jordan, myself, and a handful of other cars will peel into the pit lane, so maybe we can try and get the jump on the McLaren car through pit lane. We'll wait and see. Uh, but yeah, Ferrari in behind. Got to be careful of them. It's purple on the turn in. Try and bolt on that fresh set of mediums. Go, 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 go. Have I got the jump? I have, I think. Oh, I reckon Jordan had damage, yeah. And then we got held up behind MEJ, who also pit. So we are 12 still, so I've only lost a couple of places. And like I said, we can just do double medium to the end of this race. 
Uh, that's that's pretty good. Hey, I was Neil's span under safety car. <laughs> Neil's, go on, get on with it. <laughs> oh dearie me! Don't say now he's going to be in P11. How come everyone else gets past him but I can't? What's that? There we go. We will get a freebie. Amber Vale into the pits, going on hard. Surely can't get hard to the end of this race. That is brave. No, it's. What oh, no, going on here? Uh, it's because he's in a Williams, so of course his pit box is last. Right, well, Risks then leading the way as we try and get ready for the safety car restart. Hopefully it's not going to give me full control while I'm trying to blip the throttle or something like that. But yeah, basically now, I mean, depending on if we get any more safety cars, got to try and go to the end of 18. Oh, there's Constantino and up still. Careful, lads, careful. I think now we're green flag race. No, we're not. Risks has really left it late. What is this? Wait, safety car hasn't come in. Oh, no. Safety car has not come into the pit lane. We we are in trouble. Oh, there's more chaos. What are they doing? <laughs> Deary me. Well, clearly, what F122 has decided to do there, of course, is give us the extra safety car lap that should have been in place in the real-life 2021 Grand Prix. So, Bart Mylander clearly playing by his own rules here, of course, came out with some interesting comments uh, this week. But about to go green flag racing, hopefully, uh, this time round, then, as we round our way through the final couple of corners. Is the safety car actually peeling into the pit lane? I think it is, as Neil's there is nowhere near the rest of the field, but we've got a bit of time. He's actually able to peel into the pit lane then, so I must have picked up damage in all of those goings on, and I think he's hit the wall. Anyway, we've got to get on with it. We're up into 8th place then. We've got plenty of cars on older tyres than me. Now I've got to just try and get to the end of 19 on these mediums, which is not too difficult there as Nail has disconnected and someone else has slapped the wall. Okay, what on earth is happening? Let's see if we get another safety car. Right now, Please, no. We're up into 7th place. We're doing alright. And now we might even get P6 then if Nail's disconnected. Didn't realise he was still in front of me, to be completely honest. And we'll slide on through. Speedy now up in the podium places, but I mean, I don't know what's happened to Chris. No, he got damaged as well, didn't he? So it's only MEJ and I, and then a few other cars behind me that pit then, so we've got a big tyre advantage at the moment. Nail has reconnected, but Trap having a look for a move up the inside of Speedy. Oh, that's close on corner exit. I think MEJ, though, is going to be able to get past him as Trap desperate trying to break the toe there. Speedy using a lot of battery as well. Like I said, those two on hards, myself and MEJ on mediums. It's MEJ just waiting, being very, very patient. He's a clever, methodical league racer. He knows what he's doing, as we're just kind of still sat there waiting just behind. But to be honest, I'm getting a little bit worried about that gaggle of cars behind us then. Adrian, for example, is still very, very quick despite having issues early on. That safety car really did give him a lifeline. As MEJ will try and slot past Speedy. Don't know whether he's going to be able to come. What on earth was that? Green flag. Well, we're through. We're into P4. But I was not expecting that in that moment. Ooh, get the, the heart rate back down. No, 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 no. Oh, damn. Just nicked the curb. I knew immediately. I knew immediately as soon as I'd done that. He was going to go around on me. I saw Trapper got a bad run off the corner beforehand. And all those places I've just gained, gone. Gone in an instant. Oh, that's so frustrating there. You just nicked that curb in. Oh, I felt it immediately. Lift the back end up, chuck it round. And now we are right back. Well, we were near MEJ again, but now we've also got Speedy all over my gearbox. Is he going to try and go for a move? I think he's a bit too far back for now. Let's try to take it easy, get the tyres back down again. Just doing a couple of pirouettes like that as well. Does not do them any favours. Yellow flags, lifeboat again going round. We're... Thanks. And we'll claim the freebie back in the ninth place we go, but I would have liked the DRS, to be completely honest. There, we're definitely closing in on Amber and Nail, though, still. So the pace hasn't completely thrown us away from this. What it's done now is meant I'm going to have to push to the end for places rather than trying to protect them. It hurts, I won't lie, it hurts. I'm cursed for a podium in this league still. No, oh, I've clipped that curb again. Oh, I managed to save the initial slide, but... So annoying. So annoying. 
You just don't think anything about it. And then suddenly the back end's gone. Oh, this is now a fight for survival in Abu Dhabi. Whoa, what on earth's going on with this car? <laughs> Never had any issues with him going through the final corner there, but trapped now into the pit lane, then I'm really struggling for rear grip at the moment. I think they've overheated the tyres. I take it really easy. But yeah, I've faced... what, what am I meant to do? You, you can't drive this thing at the moment. It won't go through those corners. What are my re-attempts up to? And obviously they'll be even higher now. One and, they're not even that ridiculously high. And yeah, I've lost a pit stop in the space of, what, four laps to trap? Losing tyre grip any time now. What about five laps ago, Mark? This thing is like driving on ice at the moment and the tyres are sat in the perfect temperature. Yeah, of course, I'll try and take it easy through there, and it just gives me a 1x. It's not even a 1x on F1, is it? Speedy into the pit lane then, that's going to be a free one for us. This yeah, spike and track now, six seconds up the road. I mean, to be honest, I think it's going to be a miracle if we can score points here. I have scored points in every single race so far this season. Obviously, haven't scored points in either of the sprint races, though. Um, but, yeah, I don't see a way at the moment that streak is going to stay alive unless we get another safety car that's beautifully timed. More yellows out. Spike's gone. Let's go from us into 11. We have got a safety car. Okay, so that does work out quite nicely then for myself. And so I'll just peel into the pit lane immediately then go on. What? When did I cut a corner? I got warning exceeding track limits. Did I do something there that I didn't even notice? Or did I not do anything? Um, well, I'll have to let post-race Matt be the judge of that one. But I certainly didn't think I'd cut a corner there. We'll run over some hash crew for good measure. Get some anger out. Um, but yeah, now we've got a safety car. We can try and go mediums to the end. But it might be worth trying to throw caution to the wind and gambling something else. Right, we're about to hopefully go green flag racing then here once more in Abu Dhabi. If the safety car doesn't actually come into the pit lane this time around, I've actually got it set up ready. I'm going to put a new set of soft compound tyres on to see us through the final few laps here. But yeah, I'm, I'm still going to drive like I haven't got that three second time penalty. I might be able to get it removed afterwards as long as I don't pick up any other warnings, of course. Um, but is safety car actually going to peel into the pit lane this time around? I think it has. So we're about to go green flag racing then once more here in Abu Dhabi. Nine laps. Whoa, worth of racing to go. Come on, Amber Bale. Catch up, catch up, catch up. Oh, we've lost out because of that. He's let me by. I, I don't know why, but we're, we're into 10th. Oh, Adrian's gone. That's going to promote us into 9th. However, we have got Chris behind us. Of course, pole man this evening, so... Would not surprise me if he gets back past me quite soon. And honestly, I might just try and use him to try and get closer to some of the other cars there. A little bit of a gap forming out after the top four. Nail seems to be flying in his Williams. Here comes Chris, using a bit more battery than me off this restart. But I think Jordan and Lifeboat ran some squabbles up in front. So we've got to give Chris space, hopefully. He will return the favour there. Make sure we give him plenty of room on the exit. I think he should be able to put the power down, but he hasn't. We're still drag racing off the corner, but I think now he'll get the run on me. As we head down this back straight. Chris is a good little lead racer. So he took that first win a couple of weeks ago. And now we'll get back up in the ninth. Not been his ninth, but still. So, oh, they're still side by side up in front of me. It's not the part of the circuit you want to go two by two, but they keep trying it. Jordan might be struggling at the moment. Now under pressure from hot speed late on in the afternoon. See Adrian there has actually pulled off a move on speedy behind me. So Adrian another car with a penalty. Oh, that's getting very, very mighty tighty just up in front. Jordan though hanging on for dear life at the moment. It seems that the Haskell doesn't quite get the run around the outside. Still going to be very, very close though as they head back down in towards the hotel once more. Lap 23 of 29. Six laps to go. Oh, I think Hot Speed might be under pressure from Chris off of the hairpin. Jordan's just been able to break free ever so slightly. I'm not convinced that Ascar really wants to fight him all too much late on in the afternoon. 
thinking, oh, they're scared that they were going to meet in the middle, but Chris, I think, slid on by. I'm going to try and get a switch on the ass car off the corner, which has worked out beautifully there. Look at the traction. Got off that corner, and now suddenly we're under P9 once again. Gaining, gaining, gaining on Chris, who's clearly able to save a lot of battery. Oh, oh no, we've got another warning. That's going to mean my three second penalty is going to stand. It's a bit frustrating late on, but we've got to try and stay close to Chris and see if we can pull away from Hotspy, who definitely now is struggling in that Haas car. We've got Ferraris, I think that's Trap and Lifeboat fighting just up in front. So I've got to try and stay within the range. Oh, safety car! Oh no! Late on in the day, this really does ruin everyone that's got penalties then. And suddenly a safety car with just three laps to go. Adrian stacking it. I think that was in towards the pit entry wall, I can only guess. Do we pit? Do we go soft? There's only 12 cars left running. I mean, I'm not really going to be able to gain a lot either way. I'm tempted just to do it, to be honest. Uh, hot speed behind me's got the penalty. Uh, sorry, hot speed behind me doesn't have a penalty. Amber Bale has two. I mean, if we can just get ahead of a couple of cars with penalties as well, it might not lose us anything. Let's see if anyone else goes for it. I think Speedy is penalty free still. I mean, this is only going to be a one lap safety car, surely. So we're looking at it going, you know, if we can get past Jordan off the restart, maybe Trap as well has got some damage. Trap's actually... Oh, no, I should have hit. I should have hit. I should have stuck with my conviction. Trap, uh, he didn't have a penalty anyway, so it's not going to make much difference. Um, every car behind me is pit. No. <laughs> now I'm in trouble. Every other car behind me is pit, so I'm going to get murked off the restart. I should have done it, but I backed out at the last second. I guess all we can hope that is some of those cars that pit don't catch up. But, I mean, everyone takes these restarts so slowly. I am absolutely screwed with two laps to go. Here in Abu Dhabi, Trap hasn't got a penalty, Hot Speed hasn't got penalties, Amber Bale definitely does, but Speedy doesn't. So, I mean, yeah, we're going to lose two places at least, but could I still somehow walk away with a point from this race? That's all I really want, is try and keep my point streak alive. I mean, if we can get ahead of Jordan by some miracle, uh, then we could still do it, but I think only Hot Speed and Trap are going to close up, to be honest, I'm tempted just to let them buy. Um, yeah, Amber Bale and Speedy are still going to be a bit too far back as I think we're getting ready to go green. Let's just keep it clean, keep it tidy. All can still be lost late on in the day. But green flag racing then. It's going to be plenty of battery usage on these final two laps there. Amber Bale and Speedy, as I predicted, have not caught back up. So we would have been right on the cusp there. Is that scary? Through someone. There's going to be no DRS. Chris has almost looped it by himself there. Miraculous save by the Alpha Tauri car. There is Lifeboat. I've noticed that the road's got six seconds worth of penalties. Trap, have it. I don't care. Just go. You're going to overtake me anyway. Just go for it. And now, yeah, Chris, hats off to him for hanging on to it. Why are you defending? I'm not going to go for anything. You can't weave. Can't do that, my friend. Um, but just drag me to Jordan. That's all I really want on these final two laps. But yeah, if we can stay within three seconds of Lifeboat then. That might give us a place the other way. I guess all I've got to do is just drive fast and see what happens when we cross the finish line. Uh, but yeah, look at the traction Trap's got out of there. I mean, maybe if he can battle Jordan and try and get a little bit closer to the McLaren. But I mean, Speedy might still be within three seconds behind us. And if he's not yet, of course, he's going to have quicker, softer, fresher tyres right the way through to the flag. Like I said, we've just got to go. Drive fast and see where we end up. Stop trying to do the maths in my head. But yeah, you can see Jordan immediately under pressure from trapping from. Oh, we're struggling to find the grip there as Chris definitely, of course, he might be on mediums, but he's still a lot better than me at this stage of the race. And the final turn. Trap, yeah, is definitely closing in on those cars in front. Let's just see what we can do. Focus up, Matt. Let's get to the flag. Speedy's been it. No, out of the race. Lap 29 and 29. That might guarantee myself a point, though. I don't know just yet, still. Let's see here goes Trap then on Jordan up the road. I'm going to just drain the battery down these straights. Not really convinced we can do anything else this late on as 
Oh, they're getting very, very close for comfort. Trying to hammer the back out of that one. As I just lock up ever so slightly behind Jordan. Wants to defend this for all his life and maybe even a bit more there as we're just going to completely drain the battery. And look how defensive he's going. Jordan clearly does not want to give this one up. They're tra trying to look to the outside. Won't find anything out there, but might still be able to swoop back through off the exit. You see the grip he's got. There's more cars battling up the road. Will he be able to find a way around the outside through there? Very, very brave, but nothing working for him. So we round our way in towards the final couple of corners. I think at least on the road risks. Whoa, he's going to win this one as we get a nice wobble through the final couple of corners. Chris to my outside. Try and make sure I give him the room. We are going to be racing to the finish, but we'll come through. Will we hang on ahead of Chris on the road? Yes, we will. It won't make any difference. I think it's 10th. We lost the place, the lifeboat, right at the end. Oh, let's have a look then at our final results there. We were four tenths behind lifeboat. Oh, so if I hadn't have slipped up, we could have got P9 there. But to be honest, like I said, I'm just happy uh, to keep the point streak alive. Abu Dhabi, really not my racetrack tonight. But GG to risks there, takes the win. Barney, still waiting, I'm pretty certain, for that first dub. And no matter what happens to MEJ, he always finds his way back onto the podium there. Nail as well, a fantastic result in P4 ahead of Trap. Chris there. Hot Speed Jordan Lifeboat and myself there with Amber Bale rounding out our finishers. But thank you all so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please do make sure you leave a like. Get yourself subscribed as well. And we will be back very, very soon with more WOR League Racing action.